Hello, you must be the mother of little Eve. I am Mr. Green. I'm sorry for the wait. It's been quite hectic this evening. Some of my pupils were interesting, to say the least. But not Eve. This should be a breeze. Oh, of course. Please make yourself comfortable. I love your coat, by the way. It complements your figure. So, this is your first parent-teacher meeting, right? I mean, I see you pick up Eve from school, but it's nice to finally meet you. Now, Eve, I see she's not here with you. Oh, she's at home. With her father. Babysitter. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy to tell you that Eve is doing really well in school. She's top of her class in, well, everything. She's a smart girl. Her scores and tests are above average. Her level of communication is impressive, to say the least. And her reading ability is far beyond what I would expect from anyone her age. Her homework is always on time. I'm always needing to buy more stickers to put in her book. <laughs> I gather she has very smart parents. Hmm? I can see she is very clearly well looked after at home. She has very supportive parents. Her packed lunch are always Michelin star worthy, and I can see she is very happy. Tell me, though, I only ever see you pick her up after school. Does her dad work? Oh, he's not in her life anymore. It's just you. Oh. So you're a single parent. I never would have guessed. Not with how well Eve is looked after, and how well you carry yourself. You do it all by yourself? You know, I'm very impressed. Eve is a wonderful child, but she can be quite a handful at times, you must know. Being so young and energetic, with a mind as creative and big as hers, it must be challenging, though, at times. Have you ever thought about, you know, having someone else in your life? Just curious. I mean, honestly, it's not like there's a shortage of men who would throw themselves at you. You have. Oh, having a child puts them off. That's a shame. Eve would make such a lovely daughter. Watching her grow will be such a privilege, and seeing what she will accomplish will be so exciting. It's just too bad at her young age she'll forget all about me when she grows up. What's that? Her homework. You find it difficult helping her in math. Well, I can't say I blame you, you know. Once kids leave school, they never go over it again. What we once thought was easy can become very challenging. When I had to do my teacher training, I was shocked at how much I needed to go over again. I can go over some of it with you, though. You are my last meeting today. We have time. Just so you can help Eve with her homework. Does that sound good? Let me sit a bit closer. So, here is probably the most challenging part for her age group. See this triangle? This square marking in the corner means it's a right angle. That means it's 90 degrees. And this other angle here says it's 70 degrees. Now, this angle says X, and the question says find X. Do you know how to work it out? <laughs> no, don't be silly. You're not stupid. We aren't born with this knowledge. That's what school is for. To teach us how to answer questions in life. Like what's X, you know. The most important question in the universe, <laughs> as far as maths goes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Once she passes her exams, she can forget all about this. So really, all you need to know for this question is that all angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. That's right. This right angle, 90 degrees, plus 70 degrees is... Wait. Let me get a calculator. For a maths teacher, I'm really not very good at maths myself. It's 160 degrees. Now, 
Remember when I said that all angles add up to 180? Well, subtract 160 from 180 and that gives you 20. So that's the answer. X equals 20. Let's do another one. Another triangle. Shows a right angle. And this other angle is 45 degrees. Can you find X? Yes, that's it. 180 minus 90 minus 45 is... 45. You know, I would like to support you more. No, this isn't something I offer other parents. There's just something about you. Not that you need my help, but I'd like to. In any way I can. You know, maybe even some private tuition for Eve. Or, well, you. Maybe it's just the suppressed father in me, but I would really like to see Eve succeed in life. I mean, I know she will, but it would be nice to see. Don't answer now, just think about it. By the way, I absolutely love your jumper. Kashmir, right? It will obtain from Kashmir goats, prized for its warmth and softness. <laughs> yeah. I got that from Google, can you tell? Hmm. Can I touch it? I am such a softy for quality. Hmm. It's so soft, so warm. And it goes really well with your coat. You have a great sense of style, you know. I am a fan. And not just now. Every time I see you after school, you are rocking something slick. What's that? You like my shirt? Well, <laughs> thank you. Of course you can touch it. It's not quite cashmere, but it gets the job done. You know, just being work appropriate. I'm glad you like it, though. So, tell me more about yourself. I'm intrigued. What do you do for work? Really? I was right. Eve does have a smart parent. How do you balance all that with raising Eve so well? That is... incredible. I've always wanted to raise a child. I just never found the right person to do it with. A girl like Eve deserves the best. And from what I've seen, that's what she has. Hmm. I've always wanted a daughter, you know. To paint each other's nails. Play with makeup. Mm. That surprises you. <laughs> I'm not as manly as I look. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Eve's such a beautiful name. I take it you chose it? I figured. Well, it looks like all the others have gone. It's just the two of us here. I'm not keeping you, am I? No? Good. About Eve. Well, I don't really know what else to say. If anything, keep up the good work. Hmm? You're getting a promotion at work and you're not sure how you're going to keep up with Eve's schoolwork. Well, as I said, I would love to help. Support you in any way you see fit. You and Eve. You would like that? No, don't be silly. I'm offering because I genuinely want to help. Plus, maybe I'll get to know you a bit better. You are a very interesting and admirable person. Maybe I could take you out for dinner one day and... Yeah? Next Friday? That works for me. Hi. Sorry. Just checking we are alone. Let me tell you something. I... like you. I like you a lot. Every time I see you pick up Eve, I can't take my eyes off you. I... need to pull myself together. I take my job as a teacher very seriously, and this is unprofessional of me. But I don't take it back. That's how I feel. 
At school, my only priority is my duty as a teacher. But outside of school, I'm just a regular guy. So, how do you feel now? I know, this is a difficult position I've just put us in. But I can assure you, this won't affect Eve in any way. We are reaching the end of the academic year, and I won't be her teacher next year. Which just gives me a few short months left as a teacher. That sounds good. Hmm. My heart is fluttering. I feel so happy. I would like that. Would like you. So. Here's my number. Can I touch your jumper again? So, Friday? See you then. I look forward to it.